That was pretty cool. I feel inspired now. But as you can see, I always say as you can see. Of course you can see. Look, it's Christmas, geez. I'm here at the Magic Kingdom. Look, it's Christmas. Let me look over here in these windows over here and just give you a quick little glance. This video's not gonna be too long today, but I just wanted to uh, come and look at all the uh, Christmas decorations and everything like that. It's already the holidays and it's like November 3rd, so actually it's the 7th, I think. Doesn't matter, but it's already the holidays here at Disney World. You know, for it being November 1st, hot out here you know first day in christmas and all i don't feel very christmasy but here's a high school marching band i believe they're from lexington kentucky which is pretty cool because i went to school in bowling green which is not too far away so yeah marching down main street so let's go check out some more christmas stuff um i think most of the decorations are up but we'll, we'll check it out so as we're crossing this bridge here a lot of people might not know this, but right through there, through those windows, is a Club 33. Originally, I guess that balcony too, originally started at Disneyland, but now made itself to Orlando. How neat is that? That's where, if you don't know, that's where all the like famous rich people hang out while they're at the parks. I believe that, um, Recently, some famous athlete, I don't remember exactly who it was. Oh, actually, I think it was Peyton Manning. Had his family in there. How neat is that? So I have a fast pass that starts uh, for Splash Mountain over there at 2.30, and I picked up this, which is a treasure map found in Adventureland. And what's cool about these treasure maps is they're interactive, and I have to go to this little symbol right here and then I can actually find some sort of treasure or at least get rewarded I'm pretty sure you don't get anything I think you just get more maps but still it's a good time a good way to pass uh, pass some time if some of the lines are long so let's find this on my map and let's get started looking for this treasure this pirate booty yard so I just did this one right here, and it shot it shot some steam out of that cannon right there. Wasn't expecting it, or else I would have filmed it. It was pretty cool, but this is the location of my next one that I have to go to. It's actually right there on the map. It's that symbol, the sand dollar. So let's go see what that is. So here's the sand dollar one. Touch your magic gun right there. Black beard. That man has no respect for the sea. Very well, I will help you. For now. Pretty cool. That wind, which sounds as if the curse of Calypso herself is rising against me. But not to worry, we'll find Sparrow's crew soon enough. Calypso's magic will show us where they be headed. Look close, there, at the rocks near that sand door. See your stations, men, consult your maps. We'll route them at the mark of the ships. That was pretty cool, guys. Like I said, it's a great way to pass time if you're waiting for some rides, for some fast passes or some lines to go down. So I guess we gotta go to the ship wheel. So let's find where that is. Here's the next one, guys. There's the symbol right there. There's the wheel. Let's see what happens. I we found the treasure. And we'll be taking it for our own once this is this internal curse. Bow away with me. Oh, the ships are moving. Sinking. Sinking. That was pretty cool. 
What's going on? All right, that's where we're going next. All right, guys, so the last one here is right here. Ooh. That's pretty cool. I don't know what's going on. Oh, look at that. That's our treasure. The treasure of the Mediterranean's power is mine. How dare you steal it from me? I'll make you regret you ever crossed past me. Now there's the treasure. Run along with you. I came and enjoyed while you passed. We did it, guys. But know this. You'll never be safe. It's disappearing. Here we go. That was cool. Gone. Well done, crew. I told you, Black Beard was nothing to be afraid of. I was, of course, watching everything that happened from a safe distance. That's pretty cool. We are well on my map here, but I just realized that if you finish two of these, then you actually get a fast pass for Pirates of the Caribbean. So I picked up a second map. As you can see, different symbols on here. And yeah, so let's go get this fast pass. The other one's around here somewhere. So. I'm shooting for a fast pass, guys. All right, so I've been walking around the park for about a few hours now, and I've done a few rides. I just did Hall of Presidents for the first time ever. That was pretty cool. I feel inspired now. But as you can see, I always say as you can see, of course you can see, look, it's Christmas, geez. But yeah, they have Christmas decorations up, but I don't think they're all up. The, um, right there is the Frozen stage for well, I don't even think that's what it's called, but it's for like the Christmas special um, when they do like the Disney Christmas show. So I'm probably going to ride Space Mountain and then leave. If I find any other interesting Christmas decorations, then I will let you guys know. You can just see basically there's reefs everywhere. Um, on, during the Christmas party, there's going to be snow coming down Main Street out, off the tops of those buildings. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I've never really done the Christmas party. I've been here during Christmas. There's a close-up of the lights. They have those all over the castle. Um, yeah, I don't know if all the decorations are up, but if I find any more, I will definitely show you guys. Um, but like I said earlier, this vlog's not going to be very long today. Um, I just wanted to show the beginning of Christmas at DC. Alright, so stick around and I'll try to find some more stuff. So here's the filming equipment for the Christmas special. You don't normally get to see that. This, uh, this little area is normally open to guests, but look, you can see a tent there where they would film, where the film crew would be. So these are all lights and stuff. They're covering up for the special. That's pretty cool. And then the special will be filmed right up there, like I said earlier. So here's another look at Club 33. Here's the entrance. I think there's a buzzer over there. I'm gonna to try to look at it in a second. But right through there is Club 33. And earlier I said Peyton Manning, but I believe I was mistaken. I mean, he might have been here, but I believe it was actually um, the uh, Captain America, Chris Evans. I think it was Chris Evans who was recently in here, but yeah. Looks pretty fancy in there. It's right on the water. Let me go see if I can see the entrance. Oh, there's the door right there. There's a keypad right here. So yeah, Club 33. All the famous people hang out. That's pretty cool. Hey everybody, I don't know if you can guess it, but I am not at the Magic Kingdom anymore. Look at that beauty. It's Christmas time at Epcot. So basically, I stopped filming the other day at Magic Kingdom. Um, my phone was dying and my phone also ran out of space. So I decided to end this video to look at some Christmas at Epcot. There's not much up yet. Um, well, I say that I haven't even seen it, but I'm pretty sure there's not much up yet. Uh, I'm just gonna go through World Showcase, get a quick bite to eat. It's like the last week of Food and Wine. It literally ends like this weekend. So in the Christmas tree, they actually have ornaments with the different countries that they represent here. Um, and they have 
says happy holidays in different languages. Like down there they have Feliz. I think that says, oh no, I thought it said Feliz Navidad. Very challenging for them. So yeah, it just says like Merry Christmas. There's the US up there. You can kind of see it. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Merry Christmas, everybody.